Hi guys, welcome back. I'm doing another video today on airbrush makeup with Tickled Pink. And it's Cyber Monday, so you can still use the code down below, uh, Baroness Lovey Deluxe 15 to get 15% off your total purchase. But today I'm going to show you how I cover my discoloration and just do a soft glam look. I did a great masterclass with Beauty by Carmen out of the UK. And I'm emulating her techniques, but using airbrush makeup. And I'm going to keep it a soft look because I'm really focusing on the foundations and contouring and showing you how to blend that. So I didn't do as much on the eye, but this is a great idea for every day, for problem skin, for covering acne, rosacea, discoloration, if you just want a nice foundation. It seems like a lot of work, but it's not because I'm only using a couple drops and mixing in my own custom color. And that's what's so great about airbrush makeup. So I've gone in, I'm using a light concealer. I originally used a primer, that's the only product that's not Tickle Pink, it's by e.l.f. And I recommend using a primer, especially if you have problem skin, it just smooths everything out. It's great for dry skin as well. So I'm going in and just adding in the concealer in area area that it feels a little bit darker or needs a little coverage. It looks way too light, but that's the trick. So just hang in there and I'll show you how I do this. I'm mixing Frappuccino and Mocha to create my own custom blend foundation. I'm doing larger circles further away than how I applied the concealer. I'm going in and doing the whole face and I'm covering over that light concealer so everything just blends. I'm going through the neck and the chin line because I'm doing a more chiseled glam look. So now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna do a light bronzer and I'm going through the hollows of my cheek, the temples, my chin, and I'm just creating that definition So I'm going to keep working that through. What you're seeing, it's going to almost seem like it's blotchy or too much makeup, but hang in with me because I'll put another foundation on the top where it blends everything in and gives me a flawless coverage. So I'm just going to keep going in. I want that chisel of glamour, but at the same time making it natural. So I'm just doing a little definition on my nose with the airbrush. I don't really need a lot because I have a small nose, but if you have a larger nose, you want to slim it. You want to do down the sides on each side and then just the tip of the nose. And this has tips for if you're a newbie, if you're an experienced professional, you will know this. So I'm going in with the uh, Apricot, or is it Desert Rose. I'm gonna list all the products down below. I'm gonna use my blush also through my eye because I just love this color. It's got a nice warm feel. And for a natural glam, it's really gonna work to make it seem like I, I'm not wearing shadow or I'm just wearing a, just a little bit. So I also go underneath the eye. So right now it just looks like it's a lot, but I'm gonna cover that over. I'm doing a diamond glow, so I've also gone and done my highlighter on the tip of my lid, on the very top of my cheekbone, on the tip of the lip, on the tip of the nose, and on the chin. So that's where you put your highlighter. Okay. So now I'm gonna go in, this is the final step for the foundation and contouring. I'm going in with chai which is a lot lighter than my skin tone. I would not use this as my foundation, but this is a little trick where I'm covering over the bronzer, the blush, and even the highlighter to blend everything in and make it seem really natural. And as you can see, I've already covered the discoloration, the acne marks, and now I'm just blending out, blending out using the airbrush. So I'm using the same techniques you would with powders, but I'm doing it with airbrush where I'm layering, but I'm softly layering so it looks very natural. So this is a great everyday look. You can even take this and heighten the eye and make it a night look. It's just the whole idea is to take that airbrush makeup and use it for all its benefits, which is buildable coverage, you know, um, healthy, easy to use on the skin, prevents breakout, so it's not gonna like, you're not gonna have a mass breakout unless it's the actual product. All these products are water-based, so that's important to know if you do have any issues, but um, it's really the oil-based products that you have to watch out for. So as you see, everything just toned down when I use the chai. And I just gently spray. Now I'm going in with the eye, and I'm gonna do a little bit of whiteout. The whiteout acts as a bit of a primer, and it's also gonna grab the color. I'm using Petal Pink now. I test everything out on my arm first before I spray, and I clean all the colors out throughout with airbrush cleaner. That's an important point. So as you can see, I got a nice poppy pink in there. I've got my desert, uh, my apricot blush through the, the creases. And I'm gonna go in with a gold shimmer. I'm really loving gold and pink right now, and I just wanna do a soft glam eye that's something really pretty. So once again, I'm testing it out on my arm. 
and I'm only using maybe one or two drops. There you go, and right on the corners, I just gently blend it in. It's very soft, and once I put my liner on, it's really gonna come together. So I'm using the Tickle Pink Powdered Liner, which works really well with these aloe-infused products. That's very important. It comes with a little wand that has a paste, and you mix it, and then it goes on. It's available in black or brown. And once again, there's a discount code down below, so if you wanna try these products, I really recommend getting the whiteout the light concealer and the liner to go with the Tickled Pink Airbrush Foundations. They really work seamlessly together. And I'm just going in and painting in a thin line. And it's really bringing the look together. As you see, the way I mix the foundations, it's all blended out, but yet I still have that definition. So this is something I do for camera, and it's just a really nice chiseled look for every day as well. And if you wanted to make this a night look, I'd go darker in the eyes and a deeper lip. And I'm going in and just painting that liner. I'm also going to use a adhesive black liner for the lashes. I used a Salon Perfect Lash, nothing major, just has a little bit of softness and length to it. And I combined the two liners and they worked fine together. So just going in and evening that out. And that pot of powder that I showed you is going to last forever. I mean, that's, that's a lot of liner in there. But you do need the, the adhesive that comes with it to make it uh, more of a paste. And it works like a liquid liner, it's very nice. I was quite happy with that. So there you go, as you can see, we've got a nice soft pink look going on, a little gold shimmer, uh, a gentle liner on the eye. Okay, I'm cutting my lashes and I'm doing something new. I learned this from Beauty by Carmen. I'm cutting the inner corners. They are actually becoming pain, to be honest with you. And I had mentioned in my last video that I, would, I cut from the ends. Well, I'm switching that because I found it easier and it gave me more of a cat eye look without having to do an excessive amount of liner. So I left the ends um, longer and cut the inner corners. So it was less of a hassle to pop them on. I didn't have to work so hard to get those little corners down, so that was nice. So now I'm going in with the he Adhesive Black Liner. This isn't from Tickle Pink, it's from Velour, but you can get this from anybody. Um, it's kind of a trend right now, these adhesive liners, and I do like them for the strip lashes. I'm really interested in trying the magnetic lashes, so that'll be the next thing I'm, I'm hopefully with shopping for. So I'm gonna go in and just apply these. So let me fast forward to our look. And you see how I just brought the look together, the eye together, just that little lash and a very thin black line. And the contouring is really making my face pop more. If you have questions or comments about the product, please leave them down below. I do answer all questions and products. And if there's something you wanna see, let me know. But be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you are enjoying this video and you're interested in airbrush makeup and you want more makeup tips and how the products work together. So that really, for me, I really enjoy having the lashes. I feel like it really fills it out. And there we go. And I didn't have to fight with the inner corners because I cut the inner corners this time. So there we go. Just gonna let that set. Okay, and I'm gonna go in, test that out a little bit more. You can see I have airbrush makeup all over. I just did a touch of nude glow on my sides there. I really didn't need it, but I just thought, what the hell, I'm trying out all these products. And it's just those little details that make your makeup great. So I, I really enjoyed it. And now I'm doing a waterproof sealer. And I love this. This is exclusive to Tickle Pink. You put the waterproof sealer over your whole face and it seals and sets the look. You can't feel it. It's just like a setting spray, but in airbrush. And I like to do it on the eyes a little bit extra because it holds the eye makeup all day. And then I just kind of tapped my chin by accident. So I'm gonna go in and fix that. And Tickle Pink has a flawless finish, so I'm just gonna tap underneath my eyes because I personally don't like shine underneath my eyes. I like it a little bit more matte. And I find it just kind of sets things a little bit. 
I did not do any under eye color other than the shadow. I did put on a little bit of mascara. So this is a soft glam look for every day. I hope you enjoyed it. And like I said, if you have questions, leave them down below. Um, there you go. Thanks so much for joining me.